Hello everyone, this is going to be a short video to help you get started with the Landscape Combinator plugin. This latest version of the plugin is compatible with Unreal Engine 5.3 up until 5.6. In my previous videos, I was using a widget which is now disabled and uh, I have replaced it with uh, Landscape Combination Actors, as I will show you in the example map. At some point, I will try to redo that widget so that we can have a central place to manage the Landscape Combinator Actors. But for now, you can go into the example map, which is available in plugins, landscape combinator content. Make sure you have show plugin content and everything here checked. The map has several examples and here I will show you the map tiler example. Let's first start with LS map tiler, which is a landscape spawner. You can create new landscape spawners by going to C++ classes and searching for landscape spawner. You can drag one into your level, but for now I'll just use LS map tiler. If you want to reuse these actors into your own map, you can just select and copy them and then you open up your, your level and then you can paste them in there. In LS Map Tiler, we're, we're saying that we want to create a landscape which will be labeled Map Tiler. It will have a landscape tag also Map Tiler. We're going to add uh, satellite images from uh, Map Tiler. So to use Map Tiler, you need a token that you can either enter in the editor preferences or that you can enter here, but for me here the field is hidden because I've already entered my token into the editor preferences. Here you can choose the zoom level, so the higher the number I think it goes until 19. The more tight you will have and the higher uh, the resolution will be. Then here we are selecting the source of the data for the height maps. We use those height maps to create the landscape and here I'm using map tiler height maps. As you can see, there are many other sources that you can try. For instance, that one is uh, quite good for Switzerland. IGN height maps is quite good for France. So it depends on your needs. Then here I'm entering coordinates. I will give you a link to find coordinates for the area you want. And here I'm saying I want a square of around two kilometers. Then you press spawn landscape and you obtain a landscape. Here it's called map tiler. If you look into the tags, it also has a, a map tiler tag, and you also obtain all the, the decals for the satellite images. If I go back to LS map tiler, I can delete in one go all the actors which were created. The next thing that I want to show you is the spline importer. The spline importer lets you import splines from OpenStreetMap or buildings, uh, roads, forests, and so on. You can add a spline importer in your level by dragging the spline importer class from the content drawer. But here again, I will use this spline importer from the example map. Here I'm saying that I want to uh, import buildings. The bounding method here it's set to a bounding actor. So it's going to try to find uh, the actor with the actor tag map tiler. So that will be the, the landscape. The label doesn't matter here. You can, you can change the label of the landscape. But what matters is the, the, the tag which is uh, in here. And here the tag is just map tiler. Then you have to choose the actor on which the, the splines are going to get projected. And for us, that's again the map tiler landscape. When the splines are created, we'll add a tag map tiler buildings, which will let us refer to do those splines easily later on. Click on import and you will get splines created for each building. And the splines that are created are stored in that spline collection actor. So here you see all the spline components. And if you go to the tags, you will see that here on that spline collection, you have a map tiler buildings tag. Now we'll use that tag in the buildings from splines actor. That actor will let you generate 3D buildings out of splines. We have to re-enter the same tag which was used for the spline collection, which is map tiler buildings. And in the description of the video, I will give you a link for another video where I explain all the settings that you can use for generating the buildings. But for now, I'll just choose an existing configuration. Click on generate buildings. And then after a minute or so, you get all the buildings that are generated. Now let's move on to LC Map Tiler, which is a landscape combination. A combination lets you combine several generators at once. Here I have LS Map Tiler, then the spline importer, then the buildings from splines. So the combination is just a way to say I want to generate a landscape, then import spline, and then add buildings. And so you can do all of that in one go. Here, if I click Delete Actors, it will delete all the actors which were generated by those actors. And then again, I can press generate actors or generate actors no prompt if you don't want to be bothered with pop-ups. After a minute or so, it will uh, generate all buildings. Next thing I want to do is I want to add more generators and that time I want to have forests with uh, PCG. 
So th this is already set up in uh, that example. So I will just copy the OGR geometry, which is a way to import the polygon where there are forests from OpenStreetMap. And then PCG forest is a custom PCG graph that you can modify. It refers to that geometry in order to spawn objects only inside those polygons. So I will copy them here in that map tiler folder. Let me rename them quickly. In the geometry, here I say I want forests from OpenStreetMap. Then for the tag, I will just choose uh, forests. For the bounding actor, I will use our map tiler landscape. And then I click import. You can have a look in the output log and here it looks like the import was successful, but you don't see anything. Then I have a custom PCG graph, which spawns object here, just cube inside the given geometry. So here we, we used forests and for the landscape, we used map tiler. And here in landscape selection, you also have to put the map tiler landscape tag. And then let's click on generate. And so here we got all these cubes, which were generated in places where there are forests. I'm not sure why we don't have any here. That's something that I will, I will have to double check. Maybe that area is not marked as a forest in uh, OpenStreetMap. So let me clean up this. And then in your landscape combination, you can also add these two actors that we've just added. You add two elements to your array. In the first one, you put the, the geometry. And in the second one, you put the PCG volume. Now in the combination, we have five generators which are going to run one after the other. I can delete to delete everything which was generated and then again start fresh. With one click, then you get everything which is generated at once. Finally, I want to show you a way to generate a landscape from an area without having to look into coordinates. Inside the MISC folder, you have a landscape texture which is called LT Map Tiler Background Zoom 3 and one called Zoom 4. I'll just choose uh, Zoom 3. The landscape texture will let you create decals without having to create a landscape. I'm going to use it to get satellite images for the, for the whole planet. So this is configured to be at zoom level 3. At zoom level 3, there are 8 tiles total for the planet on the x direction and 8 in the y direction. So that's a total of 64 tiles. They are numbered from 0 to 7. I will give you a link in the description if you want to enter tile numbers manually. Then I press that button and I obtain very low uh, resolution satellite images for the whole planet. So then if I want a higher resolution for a smaller area, I can add in uh, a location volume and let's put it at uh, 50,000 units. I'll put it around here. And then I can use another uh, landscape texture. For instance, let me duplicate that one. And here, instead of entering the tile numbers manually, I can refer with a bounding actor to the location volume that I've just created. And here I'm going to put the zoom level to 10. So it's going to be a much higher resolution. Create decals. Some tiles are not visible because I've used the same uh, order. So let me redo that clear decals, and I'll, I'll use a higher sort order so that the decals are on top. And now uh, I want to be able to use my previous combination on, on some area here. So I'm going to create uh, another location volume. I'll use a, a thousand units and I will put it around there. Here there is some forest, hopefully some buildings. And in our LS map tiler example, now instead of using coordinates, I'm going again to use a bounding actor and I'm going to refer to our second location volume. Then I go back to the combination, which contains our five generators and I press generate. And so I get uh, the land a landscape for that area. I get the decals, I get the buildings and we get the, the forests. All right, that's it for the video. You can try the plugin for free from GitHub and you can join the Discord channel and I'll be happy to help you if you have any issue setting it up.